in Egypt's most famous capital Cairo, there's a beautiful mosque which houses a tomb decorated in gold and emerald green of an incredible lady. Sayyidina Fisa alayhi salam was a descendant of Imam al Hassan alayhi salam and is well known in Egypt as being intercessor and a miracle worker. Every day, faithful Muslims flock to her shrine, hoping that their prayers may be answered. She was born on the 11th of Rabi' al Awwal. 145 after Hijrah in Mecca. Her father, Hassan Anwar, a descendant of Imam al Hassan, السلام, was appointed the governor of Medina in 150 after Hijri. So she accompanied her father there. It was there that she memorized the entire Quran and studied the Islamic jurisprudence in depth. Among her many titles are at Tahira the virtuous, al abida the dutiful, Sahibat al-Karamat, the lady of miracles, and Sayyidat ahl fatwa the leading lady and deriving ruling, and the verdicts. But there was nothing that the lady Nafisa السلام, loved more than visiting the grave of her grandfather, the holy prophet She would visit him every day and regularly performed her prayers at the Masjid and Nabawi. Her father would take her to the holy grave and say, O oh, Rasulullah, beloved Prophet of Allah, I am pleased with my daughter Nafisa. And one night in his dreams, the holy Prophet visited him and said, O oh, Hassan, I am pleased with your daughter Nafisa because you are pleased with her and Allah is pleased with her because I am pleased with her. It is said that she performed Hajj 30 times during her life and most of them she did on foot. She would say, I am following my grandfather Imam Hussein السلام, who used to say, I feel shy to meet my Lord having never walked to his house. She married Ishaq al Muttamam, the son of Imam Sadiq السلام, who was also known for his righteousness. He accompanied her when she relocated to Cairo in the year of 193 after Hijri. The reason for why she relocated to Egypt is unknown, though it may be due to the oppression that the family of the Holy Prophet were made to endure. Upon arrival in Egypt, the people rushed to welcome her and were delighted by her presence. Every day people would visit her to request religious ruling to ask and blessings. At first it was hard for her to be away from her beloved Medina, but she stayed to serve the people of Egypt. She was a point of reference for some of the most well-known scholars including Muhammad ibn Idris al-Shafi'i, who is commonly referred to as Imam al-Shafi'i, and Ahmed ibn Hanban, also referred to as Imam al-Ahmed. She gave almost all of her wealth away in charity including 100,000 dirhams, the equivalent of nearly 1 million pound today, what was originally given to her by the governor of Egypt. In addition, her niece Zainab narrates that she served Sayyidina Fisa السلام, for 40 years, but never saw her aunt sleep during the night, nor did she see her eat during the day, except on the days of Eid. When Zainab asked her to take care of herself, Lady Nafisa said, How shall I take care of myself before I reach my Lord? Ahead of me are so many barriers which no one can cross except the successful ones. Such was the piety of Sayyidina Nafisa that she even dug her own grave with her very hands inside her home. And she used to pray and read Quran whilst in the grave. When she became ill, her husband and children surrounded her and urged her to stop fasting to keep her strength, but she refused to eat. She said, I've been asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to die fasting for 30 years, but now you want me to break my fast? On the first of Ramadan, 208 after Hijri, Sayyidina Nafisa alayhi salam passed away in this date. Through her, over 150 recorded miracles have occurred, including the healing of the sick and paralyzed the release of a prisoner, the end to a drought. 
Today you find over her grave, it is written that anyone who is experiencing difficulties should visit the grave of Sayyidina Fisa salam and recite Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah A'la, Surah Al-Akhlas, Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas and give this recitation to her so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may solve your problem. Peace be upon you, O wise lady of Egypt, Nafisa Tahira, descendant of Imam al Hassan, daughter of Amir al Mu'mineen, and the Lady Fatima al Zahra. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all her ziyarat and her intercession on the Day of Judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.